Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Maxine Waters just got really bad Monday morning news. She's getting sanctioned. Well, it looks like so-called Mad Maxine Waters has finally crossed the line. The California Democratic Congresswoman may finally be held accountable for her inflammatory rhetoric. Waters has been stuck like a broken record demanding President Trump's impeachment for everything under the sun culminating with her calls to incite violence against members of the Trump administration. She openly called for people to form a mob and physically confront members of the Trump administration if they see them out in public after controversy over separated migrant families erupted a few weeks ago. If you think we're rallying now you ain't seen nothing yet, Waters told supporters at a rally in Los Angeles. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd and you push back on them, and you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. Now House Republican Andy Biggs has formally introduced a measure calling for an official censure against Waters, calling on her to resign following her incendiary comments. Breitbart is keeping a running tally of violence and harassment levied against Trump supporters since Waters' call to action to rally her supporters against all things Trump. The current tally lists 254 individual acts of violence and or harassment against members of the Trump family, administration, and Trump supporters. The comments have drawn condemnation from both sides of the aisle. Biggs said it violated the House Code of Official Conduct. She said surround these people while they're getting gas, Biggs told Dr. News 92.3 FM's Arizona Morning News. Yell at them when they're out to eat. Hassle them wherever you can. Keep them awake in their home 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That's how you get violence in this country, is that kind of inflammatory comments, rhetoric. Biggs explained his reasons in presenting the measure stating it is his belief that Waters' behavior is becoming of a member of Congress, and that, after being repudiated even by members of her own party, it is clear Waters should face disciplinary action. I think the institution has to take a stance, Biggs said about the proposal. I think just making individual comments, like many of us have said, this is repugnant, just doesn't do it. Because she has indicated since she made her initial comments, that she doesn't see anything wrong with them. No remorse, no regret. The Hill reports dash. Representative Andy Biggs, Republican Arizona, said the California Democrats' comments do not become somebody who's in Congress, arguing disciplinary action is appropriate. So we just introduced it, we have some co-sponsors, but what she did was to basically incite people to come after and attack members of the president's cabinet, Biggs told The Hill. And also spread that out to more people. The measure calls on the congresswoman to resign, issue a formal apology to administration officials for endangering their lives in sowing seeds of discord and release a statement that neither harassment nor violence is an appropriate form of protest. Waters defended her remarks on Monday but encouraged peaceful protest. I have nothing to do with the way people decide to protest. Protest is the democratic way as long as it is peaceful, Waters said. I believe in peaceful protest. It is guaranteed to you in a democracy. Five members of Congress have signed on to the motion to censure so far. Everybody agrees that it was just highly objectionable what she did, Biggs said. In his official statement Biggs included references to last year's baseball field shooting that left Louisiana House Republican Steve Scalise fighting for his life as an example of what happens when inflammatory rhetoric is taken too far. A little over a year ago, we witnessed a horrific shooting targeted at congressional Republicans. That day, we promised that we would be better, that we would argue about ideas not people, Biggs said in his official statement accompanying his bill. Biggs' official statement speaks of the responsibility of a member of Congress and other government officials to temper their words and conduct themselves with decorum befitting their position. Dash. Individuals have the right to debate their differences civilly, without fear of retribution. Unfortunately, Maxine Waters' comments condone public violence and encourage actions that jeopardize the safety and security of government officials and the American people. A little over a year ago, we witnessed a horrific shooting targeted at congressional Republicans. That day, we promised that we would be better, that we would argue about ideas, not people. Unfortunately, we are returning to the vitriol of that day. Those determined to undermine the progress and agenda of President Donald Trump, have taken it upon themselves to demonize their opposition. As members of Congress, we have the responsibility to lead by example and this rhetoric is simply. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like 
and subscribe. Thank you.